Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how you can install PHP 8.1. So previously I have created an article to install PHP 8.0, but PHP 8.1 is the uh, latest PHP. If you go to php.net, you will probably see that uh, 8.1, it's quite revolutionary in terms of uh, upgrades. So we know that PHP 8 was released in November 26, 2020, and 8.1 is quite a big <coughs> release. You can see what has been added here into this uh, into this checklist. So, uh, so let's try to see how we can install it. The process is simple. Um, we are going to launch a new Ubuntu instance. We are going to add a repository on Rage PPA, and we're going to install PHP 8. So let's get started. I'm into my EC2 dashboard and I'm going to launch a new instance. While uh, choosing the uh, OS family, I'm going to choose Ubuntu. Currently, Amazon Linux 2 is not supporting PHP 8.1. Probably the support will come very soon. And once it is arrived, I will definitely shoot a new video for that. So let's uh, give it a name. And then I'm going to keep everything as default. I don't want to change. Just choose what it will be at. security groups. I'm just wanting to open this part. And maybe I am instant profile. Just choose create a profile which has SSM uh, access so that you can connect to your instance from the console. So let's get started. So here is my instance. It is being created. Let's wait one or two minutes. Trying to refresh the screen. It's still pending. Still pending, okay, it's taking some time. So the process, let me explain. I'm going to update uh, the APT packages. Then I'm going to add this uh, PPA on Ridge. And then I'm going to install uh, PHP. Just the version number is 8.1. Rather than 8.0, it will be 8.1. And all other things are pretty simple. I'm going to refresh again. Okay, install state is good. Let's connect it. Great. So this is the uh, AWS console. Okay, I have to wait for a few more minutes, I think because the instance is still not fully ready. Even though it shows running, but sometimes it takes some time to start all the background processes that is required to run an instance. So let's try to connect again. What it's... Are you ready now? Yes, it is ready now. Okay, so I'm going to make the screen slightly bigger. So do a skill. So I'm taking a root privilege. And then what I'm going to do is I just copy the commands here. It should be pretty simple. Then I'm going to uh, add this. What it says, uh, bom, bom, bom. okay, okay, press enter.
okay it's done now this line i'm just going to uh, add uh, just going to change one little part that is eight and and that's it <clears throat> So it should be able to install PHP 8.1. Yeah, it is creating all those things. Okay, so uh, it has been installed. Now let's me install uh, Apache as well. So it is restarting. sudo uh, apt get install Apache. Okay, so that has been installed. Now I'm going to run this command to restart or actually start the I'm going to set uh, enable because if you forget to do that, then if you restop the server, you, your Apache will not automatically start. That is one big problem. Now take the PHP version. I'm going to run it in the terminal to see what is the current version of my PHP. It is 8.1. See? Okay, now I'm going to go to pair uh, HTML. There is nothing. Let's add uh, in .php. There is a file which will tell you what is the current PHP version. Now I'm going to grab the public IP here. This is the public IP. Go to browser and PHP. Voila. It's showing that your PHP version is 3.1.13. That's good. So let me check about the PHP latest version now. It says 8.1. Probably the subversions are not showing. So uh, all those things are here. And uh, if you need to install some extensions, like let me try to see how can I install MB string. So let me to get uh, install PHP 8.1 then MB string. Okay. Yes. So to install additional packages, what you have to do is uh, it's need to run the command like uh, apt get install php 8.1 dash the extension name. So in case mb string, it is mb string. In case zip, it will be zip or any other extensions you would like, you just put at the end. So that, that should be fine. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? So far we have installed php 8.1 with some additional packages. Let's see if our mb string is there. MB string disabled. Okay, let's probably have to restart the uh, Apache server, right? So, system CTL restart Apache. Now, let's see if I can see MB string. Yeah, MB string is enabled. So, that's good. I hope you like this video and uh, please let me know in the comment what you wanted to see next, like uh, setting up uh, WordPress in page 8.1, setting up Magento in page 8.1. So all those things can be done really easily. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and I will try to create new videos every week. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.